So it's postnatal power. So 30 minutes of strength exercises and some Pilates base moves to get that nice strong core, get you feeling nice and strong again and progressing your fitness. So let's take it down into a little side bend and I'd like you to really connect with your abdominal muscles as we come back into the center. Okay, make this the last one for me. Let's float those arms up and bring them down. And again. And lift and bring them down. And let's hold it at the top, drop it down. Good. We've got four more, four. Three, two, and one, and twist. Twist and center. Draw in at the abs as you come back into the center. So it's that upper back mobility. Last one, now bring it in. So we squeeze and open. So really squeeze the shoulder blades together at the back. Let's do four more, four, good. Three, two, and last one, bring the arms down. Hip hinge forward nice and slowly. Forward, and now zip up at the center. Push and squeeze. Two more, squeeze, last one, and squeeze. Now take it back down and let's fly those arms out. Two more, and last one, and come back up into your foot pedals. Lift, push through the calves. We've got four, three, two, one. Now lift up onto your toes and release. Work the calves, the lower part of the body. Two more. And last one, good. Hands onto your knees, bring your feet together. Go round in a circle. And round the other way. And then step those legs apart. Final mobility exercise. Come round in a big circle. And then round the other way. Excellent. Okay, make sure, ladies, you've got a drink. Rest if you need to. I've got my drink. And I've got the timer, so let's start. We've got a squat into a curtsy. So we're gonna go squat and then curtsy. Same leg comes back. Keep going. So we squat, narrow squat, curtsy. Brilliant, well done. So again, make that range of movement small to start with, because we've got 40 seconds. If you're feeling more confident and comfortable, increase that range of movement. Take it down that little bit further. Keep breathing. Drawing your tummy muscles. You may want make, to make it narrower, that's fine. Let's change legs for me. Are you ready? We've got that little bit of mobility in the middle. 10 second rest and let's go back. Good. Keep going. How are you feeling? Always assessing how you're feeling throughout your exercises. Well, 
We've got press ups for our next one, but they're going to be in different levels of your ability. So coming down onto the floor or staying upright, you've got your press ups. Transition carefully down onto the floor. We've got that box press up. We've got your three quarters. So box. So as you come up, you're going to breathe out. You're going to make sure that those um, abdominal muscles feel nice and tense. They're not bulging. There's no pain. Keep going. Breathing out as you press up. But you can remember stay upright onto a chair or onto the side. Staying down on the floor, we're going to go into Superman. Take a breath in. As we breathe out, engage with the abdominal muscles. Into, oh, into Superman. Come back. Push through and come back. Keep going. So lengthen through the spine. Breathe away. Connect with the glutes. Breathing out. Transition carefully as we come on to the second set. Are we ready? Back into squat, into curtsy. Squat and curtsy. Reduce your range of movement if necessary. Looking good. Feel those quads, they're nice and strong, stabilising through the pelvis. So that narrow squat. And just give those legs a little shake, mobility and squat ready for our squat onto the other leg. Squat. And back. Good. Shoulders are square onto me. Hips are square. Keep breathing. Slow it down if you need to. You find your level that feels comfortable for you. Fantastic. Transition down. Now onto the floor or onto the side or a wall. So I'm going to add a progression. So we've got a box press up. Shoulder tap. Shoulder tap. So down, shoulder tap. Keep breathing throughout. Or you've got your three quarters. Back into box for me. Keep it going. Well done. Okay, ready onto our Superman. We're going to add a progression. We're going to add in that little abduction. So we lengthen and then we take the arm and leg out to the side and bring it back in. Lengthen, arm and leg to the side. Awareness still around the abdominals, 
So this is your Superman abduction. Adding just a little bit more of a challenge. And just rest. Sit back for me. And then lifting up and transitioning carefully, coming back up. Now we're going to add our next little bit, which is our cardio section. Okay, so from here, we're going to take it into our skaters for 40 seconds. Are we ready? So your skaters, it's that lateral hop. Take out the hop, level one. Level two, little jump across. See how it feels. Level three, keep your foot off the floor. So you find your level. So you stay down. It's all about moving through the different progressive stages at where you are at at your postnatal journey. And just rest there. Okay, on to our next exercise. Let's go into our two-point lunge. Are we ready? So we've got that forward lunge and then to the diagonal. Same leg for me. So hips to me and then we're just moving the knee. So make that range of movement small. Keep it going. So you can get down further, but as you come back, whoo, zip up. Okay, just little foot pedals in the centre, ready to do our opposite leg. Here we go, forward, tap, diagonal. So your progression is that lift and lift. So you're not putting your foot down at all. You're making your body work that little bit harder and more challenged by balancing. Or go back to that tap. Keep it going. Well done. Okay. This time I'd like you to go and grab your weights. We're going to go into shoulder press. Here we go. So we're pressing up. Breathe out. Breathe. Push. Good. Keep going. We're going to be transitioning onto the floor for our next exercise in this set. Keep going, keep breathing. Now if you haven't got those weights, tins of beans are fine. Well done. So we're going to transition onto the floor, onto your bottom. Abdominals pulled in. Little roll back. Roll back. Lift up. Look at the crease of your elbow. Don't allow the tummy muscles to bulge. And we carefully transition back up. Little rest if you need to. Excellent. Slowly transition back up to that starting point. Zipping up, lifting up. Are we ready? Forward lunge, two point lunge. Now you can add those weights if you want to. 
So if I bring my weights in, you can certainly add more load, your choice. Again, bring it up, challenge yourself that little bit more by not tapping that foot down. Keep breathing and keep smiling. Okay, are we ready onto that other leg? Little foot pedals in between. Here we go. Forward and into that diagonal. With or without the weights. With that lift or without the lift. Making that range of movement smaller, or you can take it deeper. All looking good. Fantastic. Ready for that shoulder press. So just next to your chin, are we ready? Find that nice stand. Knees are soft, breathing out as you push up over your head. Breathe out. If you get tired, have a rest. Breathing out, keep going. You can slow it down. Have that little pause. Okay, transition now, ladies, onto the floor. Carefully draw those abs in. Are we ready? Sitting up nice and tall. Roll back. Lift up through. Or in, lift through, breathing out. Oh, I think this is a lovely exercise. Wonderful abdominals pulled in. That's our second set. Ready to do that little bit of cardio. So we're going to do the repeating knee. So abs pulled in, lift. Level one, you bring it down, right down here. Level two, lift it up. Four, three, two, and one. Now let's change sides, lift. Drawing. You want to add that bigger level. And just little side hip circles. Now I'm going to change the music. I'm going to come down for the last five minutes on our core. We're going to take a breath in into your tummy, expand your tummy like a balloon. As we breathe out, draw in, lift the tummy button to the back of the spine without the spine moving, hold there, feel now the connection with your pelvic floor. Hold there for a count of four, keep breathing, jaw relaxed, two and one, and then just release for me. One more time, big breath in into your tummy like an expanding balloon. As you breathe out, actively lift the pelvic floor and draw your tummy button to the back of your spine. And you're going to hold now for a count of eight, really engage. Seven, six, keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. 
tuck your toes under, you're coming into your hover. We're going to take a breath in. As we breathe out, pelvic floor closes. We're going to lift up off your knees. You're going to hover for four, three, two, one, and release. Just let those toes relax. Give those wrists a pedal. And let's do that again. Take a breath in. As we breathe out, pelvic floor closes. Engage those abdominals and hover. Keep breathing. Don't allow the abdominal muscles to release. Four, keep going. Two, three, two, one, and release. So take a breath in. Final time. Toes under, elbows soft, pelvic floor, lift and hover. Let's try for eight. Seven, six, five, keep breathing. Four, three, two, one, any discomfort, obviously, you will have relaxed. Sit back. Now take one hand forward. Just look down and release the lats, the upper back, and the lower back. Come back through. And then come back up. Let's thread the needle. Take a breath in as we breathe out. We're going to take our hand all the way through. Level one, stay there. Level two, open up the chest. Extend the arm. Come down, pelvic floor and abdominals as you come back. Breath in as we breathe out. Open up. Hand comes down, pelvic floor lifts, and we switch off. Okay, just taking it now, ladies, to your back. Last few exercises. Let's go back. We've had a week off. Abdominal awareness. Take a breath in into your hands. Expand your hands. They lift. As you breathe out, exactly the same as we did on all fours, you're going to draw the tummy button to the back of the spine. Hold it there. Release the shoulders. Relax the jaw. Keep the tummy muscles pulled in. And then release. Okay, one more time. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, draw the tummy button to the back of the spine and lift and hold there. For a count of four, keep going. Three, two, one, and then release. So bring one leg up. Keep the tummy pulled in. Bring the other leg up and then just release the back. Going round in a circle and coming back round. And then we're going to drop one leg slowly. We're going to drop the other leg slowly. So from here, take your hands out to the side. Take a breath in. As we breathe out, take both legs and both knees down to the side. Shoulders stay. Now keep the tummy pulled in. Create that tension as we bring the knees across. Take a breath in. As we breathe out, come back through. And then just release there. Take your hands above your head and release the shoulders away from the ears. As we breathe out, we're going to lift up your right leg and the arm comes down. We're going to take that arm back. Take a breath in as we breathe out. Allow the tummy muscles to have tension as we move. Breathe out. As we lift, think rib hip connection. Breathe out. Make this the last one. And then bring those arms down for me. So from here, final exercise. We're going to push the back into the mat, roll up, lift up and squeeze the glutes. We're going to roll it back down, feel the rib hip connection and release. Push the back into the mat as we come all the way up into the bridge, squeeze your bottom. As we come down, vertebra by vertebra, rib and hip 
connection gets closer until you're back down. Two more for me. And final one. And then just release. As we turn over, you're going to come up to push up and let's just do a little stretch. So from here, just release those shoulders, sitting nice and tall, take your head one way, back into the centre. Two more. And then drop your ear and come back up. Drop the other side and back up. This time drop the chin. Roll on your chest to your shoulder all the way up. Come back down. Keep going. And come back down. Okay, so from here, take your leg back. So we're in a nice quad stretch. So push the hip forward. The hip flexors often get tight. With lots of feeding. Sitting down positions. So really push it forward. Drop that leg now for me. And we're just going to take it over and release. Take those, that hand away a little bit further and release. And again and release. Now bring the legs up and open those legs. You're on your sit bones. We're going to push the hip forward. We're going to roll back onto our sit bone. We're going to push again. Push back. So it's a lovely hip opening exercise. Nearly there. And then come back into your other side, quad stretch and hip flexor stretch. So really bring that heel to your bottom, push forward. Hold there, keep breathing. And then release and let's take it over the top. And one more. Fantastic. Bring it through onto all fours. Push your heel back and stretch your calf. And change sides. Zipping up for me. Step forward, pelvic floor lift, abdominals pull in and lift up. Roll those shoulders and well done.